YouTube, what's happening? It's Swiftlick here, and today I've got another edit tutorial for you, and uh, this one's going to be on just standard color correction that you're going to find uh, built into After Effects. So this is kind of what the outcome's going to be like. It's, you know, kind of looks like a little bit grey, dull. Um, yeah, it's one that I, I quite like, so, um, well, uh, the three tools that we're going to be using is going to be Curves, Photo Filter, and Tint. So, we're going to get into that right now. So we're going to come over here and just create another comp, so main comp 2, and we're going to drag our clip into it. Okay, so now we're just going to cut it up to where it begins uh, walking, so it's about there. So we're going to cut that by going Alt, Open, Square Bracket, and that's going to snap it right to there. And go to the end, and it ends about there, so that's Alt, Close, Square Bracket, and we're just going to drag it across and zoom in by holding alt and scrolling so now um, the best way that I advise to do your color correction would be on top of an adjustment layer so that uh, all clips underneath it will be affected so it won't just be for this clip say if I had multiple clips like that and that uh, if these were all separate clips I'd have to um, do color correction to this one, and then do color correction to this one, and color, color correction to this one, but because we can do it with a adjustment layer, it'll just affect all of those at once. So what I'll do is, we're going to go and right click on an empty space down here, go new and adjustment layer. Now, now we're going to come over here and open up a uh, color correction, and we're going to start by just dragging in a simple curves on top of the adjustment layer, and we're going to bump up the highs and uh, just bring down the lows a little bit, That's, that gives, gives it a kind of a contrasty look. And you can always check by uh, check what happens by just turning off the adjustment layer, it's down here. And um, so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to type in a photo filter and drag that on top. Um, now for my one over here I used a, uh, I think it was aqua, oh no, cyan down here, and I just I turned down the density a bit, so I think it was about, around about there, 12 maybe, oh, it's 15, um, so that's already starting to look a bit different, if we turn it off again we can see the difference, um, so now, we're going to switch over here a tint, and drag that on top, now basically this is just a black and white thing, that will uh, take out all color, but we're not going to use it to, to its full extent. We're just going to come over here to mount the tint and bump it down until we get to what we kind of want. So that's maybe you know 65, and um, yeah, so that gives it a like you still got the color there, but it's not as uh, saturated as what you'd usually have in the main clip. Now, one last thing that we can do to kind of add a um, more focusing effect is to right click on an empty space down here, go new and add a solid. I'm going to make the width what um what our comp is and color black. And then so we're going to come up to this tool here, which is a clips tool, and we're just going to double click on it and then it's going to make a even circle all the way around our our comp. Now this isn't really what we want, so we're going to come down here to add and make it subtract. And that still looks pretty bad, so we're going to um, expand this little arrow down here and add a feather to the mask. Just uh, maybe, you know, maybe around there, 430% of our pixels. Um, and now, even though that's starting to come together, I, I myself don't like how much black's around the, the edges over here, so I'm going to close all this up, uh, go to the black solid, press S on my keyboard to bring up the scale, and just scale it up a bit. Um, so I can see you know, less of what it is. So now that's looking pretty much like the um, the other one over here. Um, now I think something else that I did do um, to this one was I went back into my curves on my adjustment layer and instead of just uh, using the RGB channel I used the red one as well and just slightly bumped up the, the top one yeah, so now that that's kind of looking the same. So um, 
obviously you can change this to what you prefer. Uh, obviously, this, this isn't a you have to use this. You can't use anything else. You can absolutely change it to whatever you like. Um, yeah, this is just real quick, and um, I'll be coming out with a, another one using uh, Magic Bullet Locks, um, which is a another uh, color correction uh, tool, but it's actually a plugin, so it's not built into After Effects. At least this way, if you have After Effects, you'll be able to do these color corrections. So, um, yeah, guys, if you like this, uh, just give it a like and. Um, you know, I'll be probably be bringing out the next uh, edit tutorial when we hit uh, 10 likes on this one. So, uh, thank you for watching. My name is Swiftlet, and I'm out.